Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the endoped conducting polymers. So, these endoped conducting polymers are obtained by the reduction of conducting polymer with sodium naphthalene. Best example for conducting polymer is polyacetylene. So, whenever polyacetylene is treated with sodium naphthalene, then it results in the formation of endoped conducting polymer where poly acetylene contains the negative charge and because of this negative charge that means excess of electrons will be present and they will improve the conductance of polyacetylene coming to the mechanism of endoped conducting polymers here this is the structure of polyacetylene it consists of alternative double bonds so whenever it is treated with sodium naphthalate it undergoes reduction Reduction means addition of electron. So, one of the double bond undergoes cleavage and electron will be added. So, let us suppose that this carbon atom undergoes reduction. That means extra electron will be present. So, it results in the formation of ion radical. So, it can be called as polaron. In the second step also it undergoes reduction. That means again second electron will be added. So the second electron will be added at the free radical. Then it results in the formation of a bipolarin. So during the formation of bipolarin what happens? The two negative charges are very close to each other and it gives instability to the molecule. And hence in order to attain stability it undergoes aggregation. Aggregation means just dispersal of the charge takes place. So simply you just change the position of the double bond and you put negative charge at the end carbon atom and on the opposite carbon atom. Then it results in the formation of solid and pair. So in this solid and pair, the negative charges are far away from each other and it gives stability to the molecule. In that way, here the conductance will be improved. So coming to the applications of conducting polymers, they are highly useful as rechargeable batteries. They are highly used in analytical sensors. They can be used for making ion exchanges. They can be used for corrosion protection and also they can be used uh, while designing the aircraft structures. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.